welcome back to the channel and to a Middle Earth Battle Report. It's always nice to play this game as it's uh, one of my first loves, my first um, wargaming game I ever played was Lord of the Rings. So it's good to get another one onto the channel. So today I'll be playing as Mordor, being led by Shagrat. Um, the proper list will be in the description. Against Dave and his Kingdom of Moria Dwarves, led by Durin, who is basically a tough nut to crack and basically in general the dwarves are anyway so um we're doing the mission is whole grounds which you've seen in the intro so um enjoy so here we have the lists this is my modal list today led by shagrat uh, so we have four black guards um and then we have um one two three eight oh my god we've got seven moran and orcs um so we've got a bunch of shield bunch of spear um, bunch of shield and spear and then we have a warg rider with a shield uh, we have goroth and then again we have a warg rider with a shield and then a mix mash of moran and orcs with shield and spear and then finally third war band we have a orc shaman with a warg rider with a shield and three moran and orcs um, then kingdom of moria we have uh, durin with eight hearth guards so these guys are burly and then two dwarf warriors with shield, two with dwarf bow. And then we have Mardin uh, with four dwarf warriors with shield and four with dwarf bow. And the mission is hold ground, so it's maelstrom, so none of us is deploying, but we will have to roll for priority. So best of luck, Dave. Yeah. And off we go for the first priority roll. So that you do have that dice mm -hmm. up by there. So yeah, let's check it. Ooh, both six. Ooh. Um, yeah, let's just, yeah, just roll again. Okay. Three again. Oh, here we go. <laughs> what is going on here? Four. Yeah, it's, Four. You, you'll, you'll get priority first turn. So, um, so at the end of your move, roll for each warband, see if they come in, and then we'll we'll just bring them in. Yeah. Um, so, doing war warband, what happens with them? So that's a two, so that means I pick a corner, okay. uh, east or west. And then roll to see if Mardin's coming in as well. Oh. oh, so you choose a point on the north or south. So we'll end. We'll see where these guys end up. Yep. So this is where I picked Durin to arrive from. So he's got a lot of terrain to walk around, and this is where Mardin has come from. So we go into my turn where I do the same thing. So um, Shagra gets a two. So you pick a point north and south. Uh, and then we have Goroth, which is, I think I just get to choose wherever. And then finally the Shaman uh, will not arrive this turn. Mm. The six means um, you choose a point on any board edge, at least six inches from the corner, and all models um, can come on. Oh, so it has to be at least six inches from the corner. Right. So you guys will just have to shunt over a little okay. bit, but that's all. We'll measure that now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Dave um, picked down this corner. He was tempted to put it up with one of his war bands, and then yeah. next turn would have just been an absolute wreck. <laughs> and then I picked over here. Um, mm -hmm. I do think I'll probably get to the objective quicker than you. Yes. Yeah. Um, My boys are slow. Okay. So, slow so we're going to turn two, so we've got our priority roll again. So I get a two. You get a two, get so a two. it will go to me. Um, yeah. Yeah. I Are you going to do any heroics? Like any heroic marches? I don't think I will. Nah, nah. too early yet. Too early. Save that might. Okay. Yeah. So end of my movement phase, getting for the objective. Shaman came on with a five. Um, David's moving this in because it should be at least six inches from the corner and then he'll go into his movement. So Shaman's on, so next turn um, I'll be getting my fury up. Um, now a bit, so we'll come back and see what dwarf movement is and this will probably be like this for the first few turns. Um, and then we'll gingerly engage with the Dwarven battle line, which I'm not really looking forward to. So let's see what Dave does in his turn of movement. Dwarven movement is over. Dwarves are slowly moving up towards the central point. I'll get there first. We all know that. Yeah. But uh, then it's downhill then because we all know as soon as I get into combat, things go bad. Okay, so everything's on the table now, which is nice. So we have a priority roll coming up. So we have a two, and again, a lot of these. Okay, so it's you. So I, in the movement step, I am going to be heroic channeling 
and okay. with my shaman okay but obviously i do that in my move so you do your move and then we'll see if my spell goes off okay, okay. Right. dwarf movement is a so and then i move my stuff since nothing's going to happen end of um the shaman's move i'm going to be doing fury um so i'm going to use two will and also i've used the might so i need a three up so, that, thankfully because if i had messed that up Mm -hmm. I would have no might to help me out there. And six inches will affect a bunch, but it won't affect Urukai because the Black Guard are Urukai, not Mordor orcs. So, but no courage tests for everyone in the bubble. And also on a six up, I ignore a wound, which is nice if it works. But there we go. So now we have priority roll again. I'm going to try those Black Mordor dice again. Three. Nah, they've already lost their charm. And over to you. Okay. Priority. Uh, right. Hey, I get it. So, movement. Movement done. And finally, we have something to do. So the two dwarf archers over here haven't moved, and they're going to be firing at the wild rider. So I can't remember what your shoot value is. It's probably a four on a dwarf warrior. So it'll be next to the fight value. Uh, there'll be like a little plus. Yeah, four. Right, two dice on a four plus. If he had moved, it would have been a five plus, and you could have only been able to move half anyway. Mm -hmm. So let's have a look. I'll just throw the two of the same. Yeah, yeah, should be fine. Two hits. Nice. Now, uh, whether you hit the um, rider or the orcs, or roll those two to see which ones you get. Yeah. I reckon we'll get one of each here. So it's like the. Yeah, you got one of each. I need to remember now which one is actually which. Okay, so one. Two, three is the wag. Four, five, six is the orc. So what do you want to roll for first, the wag or the orc? Um, let's go for the wag first. So the wag is defense four, you are strength three. So that will be a five. Okay. Nope. nope. And then my orc has a shield. Um, so it will be defense five. So it should be another five. So yes, a five. No. Nope. nope. There we go. And that's it for the turn, so now we go into priority again. Two, four, so it goes to me again. Uh, I think you're probably still out of range for most attacks and stuff, so we'll go into movement. So the battle lines have engaged, so I sent my cavalry out. Um, so one of them is getting swamped by some dwarves, but the other is one-on-ones. But we do have some shooting, so we have two dwarves here firing onto these orcs there. Um, probably best you target the guy with the spear at the back. I would. So yeah. two shots hitting on fours because I haven't moved. Missed. Oh. And then one guy is having a pop shot to Shagrat, so that'll be yeah. on a four. Nope. And then there's three then going for the spear guys at the back by there. So again on fours because another one moved. One, so oh, does it go through on a four, five, six, it does. No, no, so it hits the front guy. Um, so I am defense six, so it'll be a six to kill. Okay. No. So the reason I always say to go through, because I find if you roll bad for that first thing, you have that last second. Yeah. Yeah, and it's always get, good to get rid of a spear support. So mm -hmm. we go into combat now. In combat, um, I'm facing player, so... It, it won't matter in the order of this one. So I'll do the one on the far left first. So you've got three guys. Yeah. Um, so you've got three, uh, two guys a guard and a dwarf warrior. There's no point you shielding because you'll lose dice. So you've got three dice. I have two because I'm on the charge. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to set you the bar? Because all you need to do is roll high or equal. So yeah. need that six. I got four, five high. So if you get a five on any of these three dice okay. or higher, you win. <laughs> Oh, oh, terrible rule. So I knock all of them down. Yeah. Um, so your defense seven, I'm strength four. So four into seven would be sixes. So first attack is going to go into a castle guard. I need a six. I get to reroll this one. Nope. So I'm going to go on the same castle guard again. No. So they're all knocked prone, but nothing. Um, so next combat, um, one dwarf onto one wild rider. Um... I have an axe, so I'm going to pierce and strike and see if that goes well. You can shield or you can fight with your one dice, it's up to you. Uh, in this situation, I'm going to shield. Okay, okay, so you got two dice, I've got two dice, but if you get a six, you win. 
three and a four, I have a chance. No, no, four. So he goes back. And then finally, one dice for you for the Khazard Guard, and I have a uh, Wild Rider charge in. I have my six. Oh, so it. it's all four into this guy then. Ooh. Get him with the six. Nice. And with the reroll, nah. So one, so first blood to me. Yeah. So that Dwarf Warrior, and then we'll. Um, we will not prone because um because it's important for like the control zones with the bases. It's better to keep them standing up, but use the flip side of these to mark them as prone. So we'll do that, and then we'll do the priority roll now, and then we'll knock them down. Yeah. I get a five. I get a five. So it's you. Cool. Um, I won't call anything. Okay. So movement. We've got lots of combats going in here now. Um, my cavalry got charged. So I have no bonuses. I tuck my orcs away down here so these dwarf archers can't shoot because they'll be shooting through the combat here. These two, we can't remember if they moved or not. So we're saying they moved half. So they're going to be shooting at the spear supports back here. So you have two shots, but you're hitting on fives. Okay. One hit. So does it go through? It does. Mm -hmm. So Lamoran and Orc doesn't have a shield, so he's defence 5, uh, which doesn't matter because that's still a 5. Well, no, actually, it doesn't matter. So, 5 to kill. Yep. Yep. Ooh. Okay, so we go into combat. Uh, you're phasing player, so you get to pick. I'm not calling any heroics. None of your uh, heroes are in combat anyway. Mm -hmm. So, um, where do you want to go first? Uh, oh, yeah. So you want to go for the guy who's yes. trapped. So you got oh. 3 dice. Um, my guy's gonna shield to save his bacon. So you have three die, three dice here. Yeah, you've won. So um, roll two white for the castle guards. Yeah. And one. one. So why would roll first is roll two white for one castle guard going for the orc. So I'm defense five. Your is it strength four in a castle guard? I have a quick look. Three? Strength oh. three. Four. Four. Okay. So that means you need fours to kill me because your four would, onto five would be a five, but you get a plus one because you're two-handed weapon. Okay. okay. So using fours, uh, just roll two white. Two white for Yeah, because you got plenty. You got plenty of stuff coming. Yeah. So that kills the orc, and then roll two more white and two more and two blue. Uh, this is going on the wag, so just roll and we'll see what you get. All together? All together, yeah. Yeah, and that kills the wag as well, because the wag can, can do a courage test. So that is the wag gone. And he, he rolled twice as many dice because the wag was trapped. Okay, so next combat. Um, I, if you did this one, yeah, because um, he's locked in, I don't think I can back away there either. So he's trapped there as well. So you, you've got two dice, I've got one, but I'm going to shield. So we go right one next. Setting the bar on a five. Are you in? So um, do again two white onto the rider, because I can't back away, I'm trapped. So uh, it'll be fours to kill the rider. He's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I just remembered the shaman didn't do his fury thing, but I think he's out of range. But this guy is. So does he survive? <gasps> it worked. Oh, nice. So then, but then you still have two more dice from the other Khazard guard as well. Right. Because because you trap, you double your hits. Yeah. So um, again, need in. No, but you get the reroll of one. Oh. Yep. Ward save. No. Um, but then so does the wag stick around? Okay, and that's the last of the trapped ones. So next combat. Um, so you got go, one on one there. Yeah, let's do the one on one okay. first. And then we'll um, shield on shield. Face. I'll shield again. Uh, five and a one. One. So um, obviously I don't strike, so I just back away. No, yeah. oh, uh, you back away because you lost. Uh, then we got two these guys. So I got four dice. And you've got you can shield or you can fight. Shield, I think. Okay. Um, I do. I am fight four in this. We're tied on fight this time. Right. Uh, so I got a five. You. Oh, that's a bit cocked. Yeah, that's a bit cocked. So you need a five or. A... Right, you win. So that knocks those guys back. Uh, then we have Shagrat with black and a support onto the Khazard guards. 
Um, Shagra is fight five, so if I roll a six, I win this one. Yeah. Will we have a chance? You uh, just thought you no, uh, just one. You just no one. shields okay. here. Right. Nope. Nope. Right. You got me. So you knock to the ground because mm-hmm. of the shield. Uh, this is Shagra. Yeah, he's chopped him. No chomped. And then we're over here, so there's no difference when it comes to anything. So we've got four guys onto your dwarf there. He has a shield. Shield in or fight in? Uh, four onto one, isn't it? So yeah. I'll shield up. Go on then. You win on the six, I'm only fight three. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll leave my hero to last, and then we get a two onto one there. So shield or fight? I'm going to take a risk for this one. Oh, go on then. <laughs> A one. Ah, oh, see the instant I take this. <laughs> right. That's what happens. I get the reroll of one. Ah, that's got him. So a strength yeah. four onto your seven. So yeah, the six is enough. Yeah, so okay. he's gone. And then I have my hero in black and a support onto a shield. So, um... Shield, shield him. Yeah, go on then. So my fight is higher than you. So I win, because of the six. Okay. Okay. So Goroth um, is strength five onto seven. Ooh, oh god, this could be fours here. It is because I've got a two handed weapon. So fours on Goroth. Yeah, it's got him. Oh. Pop. I need to get him involved a bit more. And that is it. So now we go into priority roll. I get a one. Oh. So it goes to me. <laughs> so. Are you going to call any heroics? Or are you just going to take it on the chin? I would like to have priority in this turn, to be honest. So you're going to call it? Yes. With whom? Um, it's going to have to be with my... Ooh. I can't do it with both. You can do it with both, but the thing with Durin, um, he might not be able to move and do anything because he's stuck behind everyone, but he can get everyone to move, yeah. but he'd stay where he is. But Marden would be able to get into combat, but it's about really... I don't think I can get a Durin any with a Shagrat, but if Durin, uh, if Marden called it, um, it would just be that lot, and then Durin would get all the rest. So it's up to you, but we'll come back and see um, what happened. But if you do call it, I will be countering. Okay, okay. So we've got, I think all the dwarves are currently engaged, so basically um, Marden called the heroic move and moved everyone in. I didn't challenge because I still had the numbers on this side and I charged in over here so doing basically kind of got blocked to coming down this way but he's gone on to this wag which I charged up uh, which means um, if Dave was to do here combat and kill he would free up four dwarves uh, and himself to help out this guy stuck on the flank um, so there's no shooting because everyone's stuck in combat so Heroic wise, you're calling a heroic combat with Durin. Yep. So that's a point of might. Now, the dilemma for you now is Mardin and Goroth are the same fight value. So it's really mm. who can roll highest. You can do, I think Mardin has heroic strike. You'll have to have a look on his um, heroic ice under the column of heroic. So you only have heroic strength. Um, which won't help you here. So I am going to call you a strike with Goroth. So I I will be better fight value than yeah. you. <clears throat> um, but my um Durin's fight goes first because okay. your heroic thing. So do you want to just roll the three dice for Durin first and yeah. see how you go? So I I think he's got three attacks and he gets to re-roll one of these. So if you get a six, you win. Okay. So um, I'll roll my two from the wag. Yeah, so I've lost already. So um, roll six dice for Durin. Okay. Um, just put a roll on the orc first, and then everyone else can go for the wag. Yeah, that will kill him. Now the wag rider, uh, the wag runs away. So then these guys all get a move. Okay. So basically, the two guys who went onto the flanks onto that dwarf warrior are now gonna die so um we've got some combats over here so i'm facing players so i will pick the order next so let's do this one first so we got one on one i'm gonna shield okay 
Jesus and uh, yeah, you win. Yeah. So he will back away to here. Um, so your strength three, I'm defense six, so you will need a six to kill. Right. Okay. But you reroll ones. Nope. nope. And then we got um, two onto one here. Mm -hmm. oh, three and a one, so you have a chance. Uh, what's, is that no shield. Answer? No shield there. Um, you win because you're higher fight value. Okay. So again, it'll be a six to kill. Nope. Uh, and then we have... Oh, we'll, we'll save that one to last. I then have three guys onto your guy there, but he does have a shield. Mm -hmm. So you win on the six, so they get knocked back. Mm -hmm. uh, then we have two onto one there. He does have a shield. Um, yeah, shield up. Okay. I'll take Fives. Ah, you got me. Yeah, knocked back here. And then we got two onto one there. Uh, you no shield this time, so yeah. this is where you roll the six. Ooh, oh, no, it's not. got it right. <laughs> so kill him, kill him, kill him. Got him on the six. Hey, yeah. It's another dwarf archer. Uh, we then have a black guard and a spear guy onto your dwarf archer there. So two and a one. Ah, so a six will kill. Um, actually, yeah, I'm defense six. So a six will kill that black guard. Okay. You gotta re roll it. It's a one. Oh, it's a one, yeah, sorry. <sighs> you are. Oh, no! <laughs> the blackguard's gone. Um, I think we'll. Oh, um, oh no, I can't because he's a Nurakai. Um, so now I have Goroth and a spear support, and you have two guys, two dice for Mardin, and okay. you do have might left as well. So, four high. Um, so I'm gonna might. That to a four. Okay. Um, I can might. So, all right. So now here's the question. Now see. So you've got two might. I've got two might. Mm -hmm. So we commit our <laughs> might in secret because obviously if I beat if I equal you, I win the fight because of my fight value. But it right. would be a chance for you to burn my might up. So on a dice now. Grab it and show how many points of might you're going to use to bump your you dice. You've got higher fight limit. Just you got higher fight value though, no? Yes, I do. Right. But I have to spend a point of might to equal. Okay, so yes. Are we going to pick a number between one and two? One and two, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. So you, if I if I use two and you use one, I'll still burn two points of might. Yes, and I will burn one. Oh. But you have to. Let me look into your eyes for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you have to use might now because you've committed yeah. to using it, and I have to use it because I'm committed to use it. So, how much are you using? <laughs> two. Two. All right. So, <laughs> your dice goes up to six, my one goes up to five. Yeah. So, you, you still win the fight, but you have no might left, and I have no might left. And this is an important fight, though. So. Right. So, now. You get to swing at me. Um, what is his strength on Mardin? Four. Okay, so you're four and I'm on to six. Um, so it will be fives to wound me. You have two dice. Oh! Uh, you get to reroll the one. one. Oh, shit, yeah. So oh. that's one wound. So I do have a, I do have fate points. So I'm going to roll that. Yeah, so that's one fate point. Okay. We both burnt our uh, might in that yeah. fight. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I was worth that. Okay, so what have we got left over here? So we have two onto one there. Uh, it's a Khazad guard. Um, it was a tie on the fight value this time as well. So a six. Yeah, you win. Uh, no, no, it's tie. So oh. um, I'm facing player, so one, two, three, I win. Okay. I win. Thanks. So um, the black is the... Um, Urukai. Yeah. Then I only need to say. Okay, so he's gone. Um, then we got Shagra on black and red. So if I roll six, I win. I do. Yeah. So um, the first Khazard guard. Uh, I have to check my strength. So he's strength five onto seven. Yep, so that's one Khazard guard dead. The next one. 
he's also dead. It's because they got knocked to the ground. That's yeah, when yeah, yeah. he dies. And then next, going along, we have two onto one there. Five and a two. So Blackguard kills. Oh, Jesus. Brutal. Oh, I guess Blackguard. This is the run you want there. Uh, next, two onto one there. So uh, three and a one. So you win there. Um, so I'm defense six. You're four. So you need a four to kill there. And that's, what, that's why I need to get rid of the Khazar guard. So yeah. four to kill the black guard. Oh. oh. And then this is where it goes wrong. So you've got just roll three dice for Durin, and that will determine whether you. I, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna shield just to lock you in there. So uh, let's just set the bar for you. I got threes. That's not good. Yeah, there you go. So um, first of all, roll Durin's lot to see if you can kill him. Uh, three. Yeah. No. Yeah. Ju yeah. Just roll three for him. Um. One, two, threes. He is trapped. So roll three again. What's his strength? <laughs> so yeah, that is enough. Yeah, I don't need to because you get plus one because of the axe. Okay. It's gone. And then we've got three more guys onto my guy with a shield. I'm gonna shield. Come on, come on, come on. I got five high. That, that might do it. Right. No, you win. Okay. Um okay. so roll two dice for the Khazard Guard because they'll only need fours because yeah. they're plus one. <clears throat> and then the other guy will need a six. Oh yeah, got it. Right then. So I don't think you're broken yet, but we do have a priority roll. Three. Five. Uh, I am going to call a heroic move with Shagrat. Okay. Are you going to call one with Durin? Uh, how many points am I up with left? Two. Okay. Uh, yes. Go on. Right, so... Okay, you're the facing player. Mm -hmm. uh, one, two, three, I get to move before you. Four, five, six, you, you retain your priority. Okay. Me. There's the freaking ones coming out. Okay, so everything, everything's engaged now, um, apart from the shaman. The shaman's just shouting, casting magic spells at everyone. <laughs> so we're over like, catching and catching basically everything there and everything there, everything that isn't an Urukai. And I just realised Shagrat is also an Urukai, so he won't benefit from this, but there we go. But basically I used him, um, so someone charged Durin and didn't have to do a counter check because he, he doesn't need to. Mm. So there we go. So we go into combat. Are you going to call anything? Basically, Durin's the only one who could do it. He only has one point of might left. Yeah. You doing it, do you? Well, I don't know because where can I go afterwards? Really? Can into Shagra. Can I? You could. Where's Shagra? Actually, there. Oh my god! Yeah. Uh, let's get rid of the war. You doing it, you? Yeah. I then. I'm gonna call your strike with Shagrat. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. So I still have one left after that. But either way, your combat goes first with Durin. So you've got three dice. I am going to shield with my guy. Okay. Okay. Can we set the bar? Yeah, go on. That's a good bar. Yeah. You can do that. No. Oh. All right. Swing away with your three dice. Um, you're not gonna need a lot. Yeah, that got him. So he's gone, and then he gets to move into Shagrat if he wanted to. But bear in mind, I get to roll to increase my fight value now. So my fight value is five. Yeah. What's Durin's? Durin's is... Uh, is it the weapon by you? So you fight six. So basically, a one will equal two will beat you. So you don't have to go into Shagrat, but it's up to you. Alright, um... Bear in mind, Shagra has charged this turn, so that means I could knock you to the ground if you lose. Mm. Risky, innit? It's risky. Risky for a biscuit at the end of the day, but it's up to you. Ooh, ooh, wait a second. How many times did you wound me with Durin? 
killed when we like about three times, I think. Just the fury. Oh, oh, oh. I can't remember what I saw. That's right, I'll go back and check. I got two and you rolled a one, so re roll a one to get another wound. Okay. Okay, so that's two wounds. So second. No, he's gone. <laughs> that would really been annoy, really yeah. cheese. Okay, so yeah, do and can move. It's the choice of. Who he goes into. Man. Aye. Right, yeah. So we'll come back because it might take a while. <laughs> so Duin is going in to Shagra and we'll save that one to the end. So you're facing player. Yeah. So which fight do you want to do next? Um, Let's do the bow guy on this guy here. Um, no. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I'll shield. Okay. Five. Uh, you win. Mm-hmm. Um, So it'll be a six to kill. Nope. Nope. Uh, we then have a there's a Khazad guard onto a black guard and an orc warrior. So right. one dice for you, two for me. One, oh, that's no. nice. Okay, three and one. So um, black guards in black. Uh, nope, that's. Just okay. uh, so then it's a black guard against a dwarf warrior. Um, I'm gonna shield. Uh, oh, it's just one on one. One on one, yeah. All oh, right. Sir. You're gonna fight it after, yeah. Yeah. Four. Um, Ooh. Back. And then we have a Khazad guard onto two guys, so fighting normally. Four and a one, good bar for you there. Uh, one dice. And Just one dice, the Khazad guard. Two. Oh. Uh, I get a reroll of one. Uh, strength uh-huh. four. I don't think so. No, I need sixes for Khazad guards. Yeah. I uh, any most of your guys. Uh, then there's a one on one there. I'm gonna shield with my Urukai. Six and three. Yeah, I beat you. And then we got two on to one, and again it's another Khazad guard. Setting you the bar of five. Beat you. Got him. Oh. Alright, so remember we're leaving Durin to last. So then we have a two on to one there. Uh, I'm going to piece and strike with the guy at the front. Okay. Five and a one. one this one. That one, yeah. yeah. Beat you. Um, I'll roll a regular guy first. Because I can't remember what piercing strike does. So I'll roll it. Three. And then I increase my strength by one, and three still not enough. Okay, so you just back away. Then we have a two onto one there. Two and a two. Oh, oh, shield in. Thank yeah, fuck for that. Uh, then we got Marden with his two dice. Uh, I'm gonna shield with my dude, so you, right. you just need to, you just need to roll higher than me. Five, come and get that six. Yes. Oh, nice. Get away. Oh, nice. Uh, then we have. Oh, it doesn't matter because they're all the same fight value. So I got four guys onto your one guy. He's got a shield. I beat you. Yeah. So Goroth first. Get him. Yeah. I'm a Maybe. Uh, two onto one here, no shields. Five and a five, so you can still beat me on a six. Or, uh, or, just... or on a five, to be honest. Nope. Oh, that's cocked. Nope. No. Two strikes, not enough. And then two onto one again. No shields. Four and a four. Oh. I got him with a six. Yeah. Right, and now the big one. So we have Durin and Shagrat. So Shagrat's fight goes up higher than you. Right, so three dice for Shagrat, three for you. Remember, you get to re roll one of yours. Okay. okay. So who's going, to, who's going to roll first? Um, I'll set the bar. Go on then. It's five. You will have five value anyway, so you should be able to do this. Oh, that's on my No, no, no. I, I'm going to have to might it to a five. I haven't got any might left. Have I? You got... But you can re roll. Okay. So that becomes a five, and you can re roll one dice because you're because of your axe. So you need. I need a six. I need a six. <laughs> Here it comes. Th- those, those dice do roll sixes by regular, too. <laughs> They've rolled a couple today, but. <sighs> So you're not prone, because I did charge this turn. Mm-hmm. So I have six dice. Oh, no. Uh-oh. So I'm strength five. What is your defense? 
Um, I should know this by now. It's nine. So I need sixes. Yeah. Six dice. Come on. There's one. I don't re-roll ones because um, it's my it's an army bonus. So you have. You don't even have to roll a fake point because you've got your ring. Um, so we'll double check with the rules. Okay. We have a ring of Durin. So if you roll a six, you um, ignore the wound as if a point of fate got spent. Okay. Is it one to per game as well, isn't it? No, it's not. Uh, no, that's the ring of Durin. Is yeah, game. we forgot about the ring of Durin where you could have like challenged all the priority rolls. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we also forget something during yeah. the game. So. No, okay. but how much how much fate has he got? One fate. So yeah. you can now use your fake point. So roll your dice. So on a four, <clears throat> you will dodge the wound, basically. Okay, okay. Yeah, so yeah. no wounds, but no fate. He's only got one fate, is he? Only one fate. Basically, okay. what you tend to see is any character who dies, like in the film when we know who dies, like in a battle, tends to have less fate. Shaga has three, because I don't think we really see him. He doesn't die on screen. Mm. But he probably did die, but it, because Mordo fell on top of him. Yeah. <laughs> right. Now we have an important priority roll. Yeah. One. You, it's three. Oh, it's, your, it's yours. Can I just use the, the horn of the No, no, you already won it. I know, no, I just... Okay, see, so you <laughs> get to go first, and there's no might left on the table, but let's count how much we've got, though. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you are broken. Remember... Durin doesn't need to do any carriage tests anyway. So everyone in his little bubble will stay and the castle guard don't. Mardin doesn't have to, but you have three dwarf warriors who do, but remember they get plus one to their carriage. But um, I think Mardin, because he doesn't need to do it because Durin's still alive, he'll just rally them to him. So no carriage tests for you. Okay. And all he does, is that guy within six? Well? Yeah, yeah, sure. you, yeah, he'll be fine. Um, but then at the end of the turn... The game might end. So okay. this is an important round. So mm. off you go with your movement. Okay, so the dwarves really tied me into combat. Um, Durin has gone back into Shagra and what was left of the dwarf contingent up here basically blocked me from coming up to help him. But I pulled most stuff towards the objective anyway. So we go into it. So yeah. your phase in player. So you picked, do you want to keep that last fight to the end? Yeah. Okay. Keep that towards the end. Should just go from here. So we got... You've it's two on to one. Six. You you win. So it'll be a six to kill. Nope. Let's double, just double check where every thing is in for the yeah. So basically up to there. Okay. So the next fight is my captain and three other dudes. Uh, you have a shield though. Yes. Yeah. Four is very easy. Alright, yeah. so um, this is Goroth's first lot of strikes. Yeah, well, Goroth was up for that. So that's one more dwarf done. Um, we then have three onto one there. One of my guys is going to pierce and strike. Okay. You win. Um, so my strength goes down D3. So um, yeah, go for him. It'll be the easiest so that you'll be like four. Right. For his defense four now, I, th I think. So, okay. so just roll that. You got to re-roll the one. Yeah, I'll okay. kill him. Already killed him moving with his normal armor. Then you have your Mardin onto two of my guys. So you got two dice for Mardin. That you win. So then roll to strike two dice. No, that is not enough. Uh, and then up here we got a one on one there. Um, I think I'll shield with this. Uh, you win. Okay. Uh, so just killing me on a six. Nope. nope. Uh, two on to one here. You do have a shield. So it's up to you. Yeah, I'll shield up. I tie on the three because of my uh, black guard. So oh. one, two, three, I win. Uh, you, you'll roll, you're facing players, you roll. Yeah, I roll for that. I win. I've won, actually won all these ones. So, black is the black guard. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Got it. Black guards never fail. Uh, and then we've got a little bit of a cluster going on here. So, we... It's, it's how you want to break this 
Um, so you can have it as a one-on-one -on -one there or a two-on-one because he's in base contact with both. You can have two black guards onto him mm. or you can have the black guard and him onto him. It's up to you because you're a facing player. You break it up. Okay. Um, yeah, also he'll go onto those two and then. Okay. Right. So two-on-to-one there. Uh, Four-on-one. Uh, it's a tie again. So again, you're breaking it on a one, two, three, I win. I need one of these. Nope. Black guard is in black. Uh, no, he's okay. And then it's one on one, so I'm going to shield with the black guard here. Tie again, go on. Oh, you, win, you win this time, so now you strike me. Okay. Nope, you got to reroll it. Yeah, that'll get him. And then there's two onto one there. Nope. And then I'm going to shield with Shagrat. <laughs> so I'll have six dice. Okay, okay. But you've got three dice, and all you need, basically all you need is a yeah, six. Yeah, I'll set yeah, that. Yeah, you get that six. Yep. Shit. So what's his fight that? What is his fight six, isn't he? Six, yeah. Yeah, that's. And he's strength what? Strength uh, He's not strength man. Four. <laughs> S four net. You need fives to win me with three right. dice. Three dice. Okay. Come on. All of them. Four. <sighs> what was it? Fives or fours? Uh oh. Four four strength four on two defense seven. The six you needed fives. Ah. Oh, so unfortunate. Right. Okay, right. You're facing player, so one or two, the game ends. We all you, know you've how I like you, to roll you, ones. You. <laughs> ah, that's that's a two this time, but nice okay, one. right. Good. But we need to count some stuff. So yeah. basically, it's all that lot on him. So let's grab this lot. No heroes were killed in the making of this battle, though. So I'm happy with that. Okay. So you've got one, two, three dwarves. Three, five, ten, twelve. So that is three times more. So maximum points. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not broken. So we'll do the final tally. Um, so I so was it? Um, it's five, seven points, and. No wounds were causing any heroes, and I got an extra three because you're broken and I'm not. So it's ten nil. Oh, but it's... <laughs> <laughs> it, it gave it another turn. I think Durin would have battered Jagra yeah. again. But um, uh, MVP for you. Um, I feel like it's always Durin when I fight with the with the dwarves. But uh... I don't know. Mardin did pretty well. Yeah, there was one bow guy as well who was in a fight with like three. Uh, three of the orcs and managed to kill one. Yeah. I think incredible. I didn't take any chances because I I just brought everything into the center. Yeah. Um, but um, who's my MVP is the question because my heroes kind of flopped a fair bit at times. I think Shagrat mm. did. I I you know, honestly I think the shaman. Mm. He did save a couple of people at yeah. some points, and he stopped. No one needed to do courage test, which luckily for me mm. didn't need to happen. But uh, do it, um, Marden and Shaman, I think MVPs. Yeah. But yeah, it, ten nil. Like, oh, sometimes the score lines are just harsh, aren't they? <laughs> well, yeah, I think in this scenario, like I don't know, I, I couldn't have played it. This, I don't know. The, what happened it was is because I always had that extra inch to move. Mm. It meant that because obviously how many turns it takes to get to the center. I was able to push beyond the objective. So I mean, you had to fight through me to get. Yes, yeah, yeah. That was so, my plan. I mean, yeah, yeah. Um, but could have I, gone. It could have gone two ways. If you, you know, went rolling. If you had a shit day, we were rolling, and I could have. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I think could easy, I could have easily won a lot of the battles, and then I think it's because I turn, I always had number advantage anyway. Yeah. It's because of that you had the shield so much so that means you never really had the chance to kill anything and they did pick I, off a few cars of guard early yeah the one time i did choose to just go for it and not use my shield 
Guy it's like that the, the guy with the bow because he couldn't shield he kept on killing people <laughs> i know it's just random like that it? yeah, it's, yeah it's shielding's good. difficult because you know you're doing your best to keep someone alive but mm. you know you're not whittling down your enemy but um yeah because i still killed more dwarves than orcs yeah. and that's never a good time for the dwarves but yeah there we go they still enjoy your game yeah, it's, it's fun, man. I haven't played it in a long time again, like, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's probably the beginning of the year. Yeah. So, but yeah. But there we go. There's another Middle Earth game done and dusted with a victory for Mordor over the little stumpy boys.